Hello, and welcome to Behind the Bug, a channel run by a small indie game studio making the games industry more transparent. Today, I will be exploring the depths of one of the most popular games of our time. Recently, I have found myself playing a Minecraft realm with some of my friends and once again falling in love with the simple block building mechanics of the game. Some may wonder what is it that makes Minecraft such a fun game? What design choices make it stand out? Today, I want to break down Minecraft's mechanics in hindsight. In saying this, I mean to look at why the game is so influential with the knowledge of other more recent sandbox games. All of this seeks to answer my primary question, why has no other sandbox game been able to surpass Minecraft? First, we must seek to explain what a sandbox game is. It is actually hard to pinpoint a definition of what a sandbox game is to begin with. The consensus from my research shows that a sandbox game is a game that has minimal limitations on the player's actions. This can be taken two ways. Either one can say that it is a sandbox game if the player has a wide array of choices. Under this interpretation, it seems you could define almost any game as a sandbox game. Even chess would be a sandbox game under this interpretation. Or you could take it to mean a sandbox game is any game with unlimited potential choices. Such a game is either impossible to make or incredibly bland in function. For the sake of this video, we will refer to sandbox games as any game that allows players to create something of their own. This eliminates lots of games that some would define as sandbox games, but I'm doing this to simply limit the scope of my research. First, let us discuss some other games that meet this definition. For one, you could reference The Sims. The Sims gives the players a good amount of access to many, many options in terms of controlling the world in which their Sims live. However, its options are limiting compared to Minecraft, and most notably it lacks one of the other aspects of Minecraft that make it so popular. Another example is Super Mario Maker, which has you build and share Mario levels. This gives you nearly limitless level designs. The overall creation process lacks the actual gamey aspects of building in Minecraft which makes it harder to get into as a creator, which could be to blame as to why it is less popular than Minecraft or other sandbox games. Terraria is a very common example. It is the closest you can get to Minecraft in terms of sandbox and building mechanics. I think there are two reasons Terraria never outpaced Minecraft. Firstly, it was often compared to Minecraft, even though it has a much more in-depth combat system much more content in terms of interesting items, expensive structures, and challenging bosses. Secondly, it has building mechanics, but those mechanics are not central to how most players engage with the game. Which is what brings me to my primary point. Finding the fun. What Minecraft does so well, and it's arguable whether this is intentional or not, is create an environment where players must find what is fun for them. With Terraria, you are given a series of actions and challenges to tackle and overcome. This makes Terraria a fun game, but it makes it fun in only one significant way. Minecraft, on the other hand, would be incredibly boring if you are handed it out of the blue. When I say this, I speak particularly of the Java edition, assuming you have absolutely no experience with Minecraft prior to this. Having never heard of Minecraft and you bought this game and opened it, what would you have done? Minecraft's mechanics may seem simple, but why go and cut down trees? Why should you instinctively think to build these incredibly complex farms and dig down to 12 blocks above an impenetrable layer of bedrock and begin digging for diamonds? Out of context, it makes absolutely no sense, and that is my point. Because Minecraft presents you with an empty slate, you have to fill it. When you find what makes the game enjoyable for you, and you watch all the videos that show you how to play, it can become endless amounts of fun. The biggest lesson Minecraft has to teach us is when we play or make games, the goal is not to do exactly what is intended. We should seek to play in the most fun and interesting way possible. I think this relates to my video on Fail Faster and the concept of finding the fun. Sometimes the enjoyment you get out of a game, or in my case, that I may put into a game, isn't going to come to you. It is best to try and seek that fun. What makes it fun for you? As devs, we have to ask the much harder question. What makes it fun for someone else? In the case of Minecraft, the answer was simply whatever they may find on the other side of one of the most recognizable title strains in gaming history. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed this type of content, subscribe to our channel. Like this video so that others can see videos like these. We want everyone to know what is happening behind the scenes of your favorite games. Have a great day.